Okay, guys. Today we're pumping out this little lake or dugout or whatever you want to call it. Here in the middle of the farm. A week ago, this thing was so overgrown, you could nearly walk across it. But I cleaned out almost all of it. There's quite a few fish in here. Not sure how deep it is. Three or four feet. I could feel around the sides. I don't know about the middle. There's a pile of plants there. Drying out now. But that's only a very small percentage. And we're pumping the water into my main lake. To my little fish pond way down here. You see those blue nets? That's where the catfish lake is and the catfish farm in my little lake. This is going to take a while, but when it's done, they're going to pick up all the fish that's flopping around on the ground and anything that might be edible, all the snails, frogs. There's lots of eels in here I saw when I was taking the plants out. So we'll get a few eels probably. anything unlucky enough to go into the pump well end up down here in my lake so I'll come back when uh, when we're ready to pick up some fish that's always fun trying to catch fish in the mud hole the first one out of the lake. Snake fish straight on the fire. Yeah. <laughs> this is turned into a fish finding party. <laughs> yeah, aren't you happy? I'm drinking my whiskey. <laughs> what the? Is that whiskey in there? <laughs> Homemade rice whiskey. <laughs> Just about there. There's a fisherman. Oh, that's a nice fish. Oh, that's the big one. I saw a real big one before. There we go, there we go, there we go. Look at that. That's a snakehead fish. Get him, get him. See? Fishing can be fun. Did you get it? Oh, I got it. I got it. Tang. Tang, hey. Ah, we got away. Oh, look at that one. There's some nice fish in here. Hey, you want to in it? It's the biggest snakehead I've seen, huh? That's a big fish. Wait, right. he's bigger than you, you be careful.
I knew there was a lot of eels in here. I saw lots. Get them in the bucket. Oi! <laughs> There we go. Okay guys, here's one of the bigger ones. It's got to be 18 inches long. 
snakehead. Nice fish. Boy. It was, I think, three like that. One quite a bit bigger. Maybe 20, 22 inches. He went straight into the pot. He ended up all total with probably two five gallon buckets full. A lot, a lot of eels, which I wasn't surprised. I saw a lot of eels there. But no frogs and no snails. A few crab. Mostly catfish and uh, snakehead. Just gonna walk back down to the lake now. See if anything has made its way back to the surface. This is uh, the next morning and see if there's anything swimming around in the water. I just saw fish right here. Figured there'd be a few. They're uh, hard to catch. It's not like you, you pump the water out and all the fish are flopping around on the ground waiting for you to pick them up. These fish are survivors. They dig themselves into the ground, and sometimes very deep, surprisingly deep. There's another one right there. So there's a few in there. I don't know if anybody will come and get them or not. It don't really matter. None of these fish were stocked. It's a case of if you build it, they will come. They came from somewhere. Made this little hole their home. And some of them got quite big. You know, you pull out two five gallon buckets worth of protein out of a little mud hole. Something that didn't cost you anything. Especially if you saw this before I took out all the weeds. All of this nightmare. You wouldn't think anything could have lived in there. It sure didn't look like it. It was solid. They saw a little catfish. We didn't get very many of those yesterday. And there's the aftermath of their little party. I guess I get to go pick up their garbage. Ain't that lovely. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. This is uh, New Year's morning, so uh, Happy New Year.